हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्यूरियस टू लर्न ऑल ऑफ यू आर डेफिनेटली वेरी मच क्यूरियस टू नो द ह्यूमन हार्ट एनाटॉमी राइट सो डेफिनेटली द बायोलॉजी लवर्स विल लव दिस वीडियो सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ह्यूमन हार्ट एनाटॉमी ओके सी व्हाट इज द पिक्चर व्हाट इज दिस पिक्चर दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन Heart. Yeah. Next. So first we will know what is the location of the human heart. Where it exactly present. See all of you. This is a human body. Okay. This is your human body. And uh, both the side human body there are rib cages. ओके एंड जस्ट बिलो द रिप के जेस देर इज ए मेम्ब्रेन हियर लाइक दिस देर इज ए डोम सेप्ट मेम्ब्रेन दैट इज नोन एज योर डाइफ्रागम ओके दिस इज द मेम्ब्रेन इज नोन एज योर डाइफ्रागम एंड दिस डाइफ्रागम सेपरेस्ट द अपर कैविटी टू द लोअर बॉडी कैविटी दिस अपर बॉडी कैविटी इज नोन एज योर चेस्ट कैविटी ओके एंड इन साइड द चेस्ट कैविटी बोथ द साइड देर आर टू लंग्स दिस इन द लेफ्ट साइड राइट साइड वन लंग एंड लेफ्ट साइड अनदर लंग इन बिटवीन दिस टू लंग्स देर इज ए ऑर्गन मस्कुलर ऑर्गन दैट इज योर हार्ट ओके सो व्हाट इज द पोजीशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन हार्ट देन द पोजीशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन हार्ट इज इन द चेस्ट कैविटी ओके इन बिटवीन द two lungs so it is exactly at the center in center of the chest cavity okay and it is slightly tilted towards the left actually generally when when if you will ask anyone what is the uh, location of the human heart they will say that ki location of the human heart is in left side actually no it is not in left side it is actually in the center in the center in between the two lungs and just slightly tilted towards the left so next see here this one see this picture this is one lung and this is another lung and the, in between these two lungs the heart is present if you'll see about this one this is known as your trachea or wind pipe we can say this is wind pipe and this we will learn in respiratory system in detail okay and uh, here in this video we are talking about the learning about heart the human heart is so the human heart is present in between the lungs okay so next what is the size of the human heart then anyone can guess if you don't remember the numerical part what is the in uh, what is the length breadth or thickness you can relate another one what is the exact size of the human heart if anyone ask you can say the size of the human heart is equal to the size of your fist okay your own fist the size of your own fist is equal to the your size of your own heart just remember this thing okay and uh, in average if will um, know uh, if will uh, uh, learn of, uh, i mean if will Uh, no in the number then the size of the human heart will be 12 cm in length 8 cm in width and 6 cm in thickness if we'll try to uh, draw this human heart with the help of uh, scale you can draw the lines the length breadth and the thickness then you can imagine properly what is the exact size of the human heart and this is the average size size it can vary from person to person so now all of you see these pictures some red color round shaped structures are there anyone can guess what are these yes these are the blood cells okay red blood cells so now see you can see how the blood cells are moving you can uh, uh, relate the shape of the red blood cells okay so now we will discuss about the blood circulatory system who has discovered the blood circulatory system this is the picture of the scientist and one can guess what is the name of this scientist name of the scientist is william harvey next what are the circulatory system parts 
Okay. First one is heart. What is heart? Heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout your body. Okay. This is a muscular organ. This is only the muscular organ which develops first in the fetus and it starts pumping from birth to till death. Okay. And uh, once it stops working, it starts uh, stops pumping, then the person will be no more. So this is very, very important organ in the blood circulatory system. Heart. Okay, without heart there will be no life. Okay, heart. The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout your body. Second one is your blood vessels. Okay, first one is your heart. First one is your heart. Then second one is your blood vessels. Blood vessels are the tube-like structure. Okay, and uh, there are actually three main types of blood vessels are there. That these are arteries, veins, and capillaries. These are the tube-like structure which includes, uh, which uh, helps the blood to flow through it. Okay, so the third one is your blood. That blood is made up of red, white, uh, white blood cells, plasma, and platelets. Okay, so what are the three main types of blood vessels? Three main types of blood vessels are artery. First one is your artery. Okay, first one is your artery. So artery actually they carry blood away from the heart. Okay, just remember this. The arteries takes blood away from the heart and they are the largest and strongest blood vessels. Okay, and what about then uh, the veins? Veins takes just opposite of the arteries. They take blood return to the heart towards the heart okay this take blood towards the heart and this takes blood away from the heart so we can say the blood comes out from the arteries and blood go in through the veins it is out of the heart and this is in towards the heart so just remember this arteries helps takes away the uh, blood from the heart and veins takes blood into the heart and what about the capillaries capillaries are the branches of the artery and veins okay as it uh, branches it the walls becomes very thin okay these are the tiny vessels that connect arteries and veins and their thin walls allow blood to come into close contact with tissue to exchange oxygen carbon dioxide nutrients and waste products okay understood so capillaries are nothing but the they are also the tube like structure and they are also the blood vessels which are the branchings of the artery and veins as they branches um, they branches of the arteries and veins the wall becomes very thin and this thin walls helps the blood to come in contact with the oxygen carbon dioxide nutrients and waste product which helps them to exchange okay so next we will move to the next slide so i hope all of you have understood it properly if you have any doubt you can ask me you can write in the comment section i will definitely try to resolve your answer i will definitely reply you okay so we will meet you in the next uh, video in that video we will discuss about the structure and function of the human heart okay thank you